Now that the crypto market overall is valued at $2 trillion, do you still consider cryptos as worthless artificial gold? <laughs> well, I, I knew there'd be a question on Bitcoin or crypto. <laughs> and and uh, I thought to myself, well, I've watched these politicians dodge questions all the time, you know, and, and, and uh, I always find it kind of disgusting when they do it. But the truth is, I'm going to dodge that question <laughs> because the, we probably got hundreds of thousands of people watching this that own Bitcoin, and we've probably got two people that are short. So we've got a choice of making 400,000 people mad at us and unhappy and or making two people happy. And that's just a dumb equation. So I, I, I thought about it. We had, we had a governor one time in, in uh, Nebraska and uh, a long time ago, but uh, he would get a tough question. You know, what do you think about property taxes or, you know, what should we do about schools and and he'd look right at the person. He'd say, I'm all right on that one. <laughs> and then he'd just walk off. Well, I'm all right on that one. And maybe we'll see how Charlie is. <laughs> well, those who know me well are just waving the red flag of the bull. <laughs> of course, I hate the Bitcoin success. And... I don't welcome a currency that's so useful and to kidnappers and extortionists and so forth, nor do I like just shuffling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to somebody who just invented a new financial product out of thin air. So I think I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. And I'll let, leave the criticism to others. <laughs> I'm all right on that one. 